Climate change is now driving extreme weather. As a result, forecasting changes to a daily weather and longer-term climate is critical. Ian Wallace tells us how the weather balloon monitors climate change in this week's Keeping It Green segment. Our climate is driven by the sun's heat energy, warming the Earth's surface, creating wind, evaporating moisture. To get a snapshot of the state of the atmosphere, National Meteorological Services use weather balloons called radiosons. They rise at about 300 meters per minute to a height of approximately 35 kilometers into the atmosphere. Hundreds are launched all over the world, including the Trinidad and Tobago Meteorological Service, which forms an essential network of meteorological data. Sensors on the radio sonde measure profiles of pressure, temperature and relative humidity. The radio sonde has an antenna that transmits a signal which we receive here at the office. By tracking the position of the radio sonde in flight, information on wind speed and direction aloft is also obtained. What we call a radar wind sonde or roaring sonde, hence the name on the building. Atmospheric scientists use critical data for weather forecasting and research and for longer-term climatological data. No single observing system, which includes satellites, aircraft observations, as well as ground-based radar, can match a vertical data resolution of about 5 meters and the height coverage which is obtained by these radio sondes. There is what you call teleconnections or relationship between what is happening over Trinidad and Tobago and what is happening in other parts of the globe that affect our climate and what the upper air sounding does is provide us with a snapshot in time of what is happening above Trinidad and Tobago in the atmosphere above Trinidad and Tobago. Over time that weather information becomes climate data and as you know climate data drives or is the bedrock of climate change. When we call it all this data over time then we are able to develop what we call trends. We can decide frequencies. Extreme rains can change our drainage once curve, and this data is vitally important. It has to be that it's raining more intensely, and the current capacity of what we have as canals are just not sufficient because we built them on a past climate that is no longer relevant. Here at the Meteorological Service at Piarco in Trinidad, all of these observations get taken into account into the global picture that forms a snapshot of the Earth's climate. And all of this is useful in the fight against climate change. I'm Ian Wallace, keeping it green for TDT News.